Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, I'm uh, traveling on the road, but right now we've got some uh, breaking information coming in from Washington. We have Dr. Anthony Harper with us live. He's at the White House. And uh, Dr. Harper, it's great to have you with us today. Well, it's great to join you. Uh, a little cool out here, uh, waiting for Sarah Sanders to show up with a, a press meeting, giving uh, uh, reporters an update on the shutdown and, and, uh, and the Pelosi issue. Yeah, let's talk about this. I mean, the shutdown is it's continuing. Uh, we know that Pelosi sent that letter in which she recommended that the president... Uh, rescheduled the State of the Union address, and she said there was security concerns, but Dr. Harper, what I'm hearing is nobody even consulted with the, the Secret Service. That They said they had it handled. Uh, any information on that? Well, the, the latest that, I, that I've been aware of here is that uh, uh, President Trump had uh, restricted uh, uh, access, using the military uh, planes or whatever for Pelosi to go go uh, to, uh, to, to to Europe for some events over there when she should be here trying to work it out uh, regarding all the all these uh, these workers that aren't getting paid and and uh, Nancy Pelosi is not willing to budge at all it's, so yeah and do you have any information on her reaction to having her uh, you know her trip that was going to go to Afghanistan was going to go to parts of Europe? and was canceled within the hour of time for that military plane to leave. Has there been any reaction from her or her office today? Well, uh, I'm not, uh, only the one that I'm aware of is, is that, uh, she, well, she, of course, she's not too happy with this, but, you know, that the trip is canceled because they were going to, since, since he couldn't take military uh, aircraft to do it commercially, but that would put people's lives too much in danger, so it's, that whole trip thing is off, and I know she's probably furious, with about this, uh, and it's a battle of wills of President Trump against Nancy Pelosi, and uh, uh, her behavior isn't showing that she really is care cared about, uh, that cares about these workers right now. Yeah, and it seems like, Dr. Harper, that this has put America, and you talk about gridlock, this is, we're past gridlock, we're at a, we're an absolute deadlock, aren't we? There's nothing budging here. Yeah, this uh, you know, President Trump's talking about a na declaring, uh, having a national emergency, and it really is uh, uh, something's got to be done. And uh, so, uh, God willing, will be able President Trump will be able to declare this emergency and, and get things taken care of and get that wall. Yeah, uh, although, although the wall by itself is not going to be isn't going to solve the problem. It's going to be as Israel deals with uh, have the key surveillance along with the wall because they can always dig under underneath the wall. Yes, you're exactly right. See, it's a constant, perpetual uh, process trying to maintain a border, no doubt about it. So tell us a little bit about it. You're in Washington, D.C. You're at the White House. Uh, you're in the pressing. Are you in the briefing room? Um, I'm outside with some reporters here. They're waiting for uh, Sarah Sanders to show up. Uh, so it's just right out to the press building here. Okay. Uh, Will you get a chance? Do you think you might get a chance to ask a question today? Uh, I, as it is right now, uh, no, I did see her yesterday. Okay. Uh, I, I, I uh, knocked on her door, walked in, and I startled a little bit to just saying that I'm here. I would like to meet with her, and uh, she said she didn't even have five minutes to meet with me while I was here this week, and that was a little disappointing. And uh, but uh, you know, I, I told her that we're praying for her. So, well, you know, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, of course, the press secretary to the President of the United States. The daughter of Mike Huckabee, which everyone's pretty familiar with, and he's actually in a documentary that you're in the process of filming. Is that right? Uh, yes. Uh, this is at the, the beginning stage. We have a trailer, uh, and when I uh, you to show that uh, again and let people know uh, the importance of this uh, documentary honoring Israel. And uh, we're just in the, in the stages of trying to get funding to get it in all the major theaters. So it's in the early production phase. We have a nice trailer with Governor Huckabee's, um, you know, uh, request for people to support this. And, you know, as you're in Washington, of course, and you and you do make several trips there a year, you're representing uh, really the Christian's uh, perspective. You're, you're, you're trying to be able to ask questions to, pertains to Christianity. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, 
you know, I have uh, spiritually based questions uh, to ask here that other reporters are either afraid to ask or, or I don't know what the, the situation here is, but we don't really have very substantive questions normally from, from reporters here. But the underlying problem is some spiritual problems for America. And uh, so I, I'm here to ask those questions of pastors. Other Christians would want me to ask our leaders here, and uh, hopefully they'll be able to answer them. Uh, Dr. Harper, I've, now I don't know this, and maybe you can get more of an inside information while you're there. I understand that though there's some Bible studies that do go on at the White House now. Uh, prayer goes on. Can you fill us in on any of that? Well, and I know that that it, that it is happening here, but I don't know who's in charge of it here. Uh, I will look into that uh, and get some more details. But uh, you know, it is uh, promising. Uh, whereas you know, with uh, President Obama and his administration, they weren't open to having Bible studies here. There's a clear, a clear change here, but I think, uh, in light of that, I, I'm seriously concerned about uh, any any uh, decision by this administration to divide Jerusalem. Yeah, um, I just read a Jerusalem Post uh, report yesterday. Yeah, uh, where it was talking about President Trump entertained this idea of dividing Jerusalem and and uh, having a supporting a Palestinian state. Yeah, yeah, I, I read that. Uh, hopefully, I read that also, Doctor Harper, and and I found out that. Channel 13 out of uh, Israel actually reported that that they had inside information and they had and it did include a two-state solution and Jason Greenblatt a few hours later came out and said look nobody has seen this deal except four of us there's no one else knows this but he never refuted he never said that the information that was being released there in Israel was was false or was wrong. He never said that. So I think it's good uh -huh. that you should pursue this and, and see what you can find out. Well, uh, I've made a, uh, I've sent messages to the White House here uh, that uh, that to Sarah Sanders and and uh, for other officials here uh, that you know God's warning in uh, Prophet Joel chapter three verse two um, but about God's anger about uh, dividing Israel. And so that Christians in America would not, not, not want President Trump to support dividing Israel in any way. I agree, and, and that, that will continue to be our prayer, and I'm sure all of you that are watching right now would join in prayer with Dr. Harper and myself and others. Uh, so we know the Scriptures. We're not to part the land, and we know that can bring won't bring a blessing on us if we do that. And I think we've been blessed because of our relationship with Israel, and I think that you know, the Bible says that. So uh, let me ask you a question, Dr. Harper. Uh, what's the atmosphere in Washington? Do you, can you feel the tension? Can you cut it with a knife? Oh, boy, you can you know, cut it with a knife, so to speak. You know, it is very tense here. A lot of uh, anger. Uh, I've noticed of the, of the reporters here very just, you know, uh, offended by President Trump. They don't think very highly of him. I uh, haven't heard... Uh, one reporter here at all say anything good about what President Trump is doing. But, uh, so it's anyway. pretty, yeah, I mean, we know the media. We, we, I mean, obviously, you and I both know that the, the mass media is probably 80% liberal, okay, from a liberal view. Uh, that kind of puts you in a minority in there. But I know you're shining the light. I know they can, I know you're shining the light of Christ. They'll see that in you. You have that humble spirit, yet... Yeah, you're 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 taking some ground, and I'm I'm proud to have you at the White House representing all of us Christians out here uh, concerned about what goes on in our nation's capital. Yeah, well, it, it is uh, very important with these these very crucial concerns, and uh, so um, anyway, uh, Sarah Sanders just finished a meeting with the reporters here, um, and. Um, you know, I haven't gotten any formal response from the White House regarding my concerns about dividing the land. And uh, that's uh, concerning as well. Yeah, you, you. I think you should continue to ask the question and try to get some kind of a written response from somebody from the White House. Should respond, at least. Uh, I think hang in there with that, Dr. Harper, please. Oh, I will. And... Um, Thanks for all those that are listening to Pray for Favor for me and, and uh, interviews with Sarah Sanders and other White House and White officials and for President Trump to honor the Christian media here. Yes. You know, for the Prime Minister of Israel holds a yearly uh, 
Christian Media Summit, honoring the Christian media. And uh, I would like for President Trump to, to do that as well. Um, yeah. And uh, we don't have one Christian media person in this uh, White House press pool that I know of. And oh. I think that needs to change, seriously. So, Well, we appreciate you being with us. We're so glad. We're praying for you. Hang in there. And uh, Godspeed be with you. And we'll, we'll talk again. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, maybe I should mention that I've met, I've mentioned, uh, met with Jim Acosta recently. Oh, you did? So you spoke with Jim Acosta of CNN? Yeah, I spoke with him. I asked him what CNN is planning to do about uh, bridging the gap with the evangelical Christians. And uh, got him really nervous, and he walked away. <laughs> I mean, he could have answered the question. Did he answer it at all? I said no comment, and uh, I was going to try to get my picture with him uh, yesterday, and he didn't. He didn't want that to happen. Either. He don't want a picture either. Wow. Well, take his picture, even if you can't get one with him. Take his picture anyway, and and we'll we'll keep praying for him. All right. Yes. Thank you. I'll talk with you soon. All right. God bless you, thank you. and thank you so much, Doctor Anthony Harper from the White House in Washington D.C. He's in the middle of the swamp. So pray for him as he's reporting to us. I'll be back with more in just a moment.